What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another Nova Launcher tutorial. In today's video, we'll be demonstrating how to add a fast scroll bar to the app drawer. Now in the previous video, we demonstrated how to change the app drawer appearance with three options, which included vertical, list, and horizontal. Now, although the fast scroll bar appears functional with only the vertical and list options, it allows you to scroll through your app drawer list quickly and precisely. And as for this video, it's featured on the Nova Launcher Prime 7 playlist so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are in the tutorial and I'm going to start things off by swiping up from the bottom of my display and this is going to pull up my app drawer and you can see that I have the list option here. Now we're going to do a search for Nova. And I always like to demonstrate this because you can see when we do a search for Nova, we get two options. We get the Nova Launcher Prime option and Nova Settings. Now you wanna make sure that you select Nova Settings. If you select Nova Launcher Prime, it's just going to take you to the app info. So again, we're gonna tap Nova Settings. Now this will bring us to the homepage of Nova Settings, which allows us to customize our launcher. And we're going to look for the option titled App Drawer and tap on that. Now, because we're looking to add a fast scroll bar to our app drawer, we're going to scroll down until we see a category titled scroll. And you'll see underneath this, we're going to have the option fast scroll bar with a empty box to the far right. We're going to want to tap on that and that's going to enable the fast scroll bar. So once this box is checked, it allows you to scroll through your app drawer quickly and precisely. And it also shows a letter so that you can see where you are in the app drawer. Underneath this, we have the option to customize the fast scroll bar with a color. So if we tap on it, you can see that we have a list of presets. And then there's also an option titled advanced underneath that allows us to create a custom color. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you could support the content. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way to show your support is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching and listening to. And as always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out. Yeah.